having a wonderful week. Uh, I got some another fun videos for you. So by the way, how many of you watching this right now owns a Bravo Vista Express or Pro? Yeah, let me know on the, the live chat comment section. Uh, I love to see how many people actually owns it and using it right now. So yeah, let me know. Okay, if you're joining us for the first time, welcome to live streaming. Hopefully we're gonna have some better connection this morning. And I'm, 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 I'm holding. I got my monitor set up, so okay. I think okay. My video is getting clear now. So oh yeah, let's get going here, folks. Okay, <clears throat> Bravo Brista Express. Can you make great coffee with it? All right. Uh, answer is maybe. Okay. Ma answer is maybe. If you are using medium to dark roast. This one I have it here. Uh, yeah, answer is yes. You are going to make some amazing coffee with uh, medium to dark roast. Uh, very forgiving, works great, uh, especially the way it's designed. Okay, so this is a 54 millimeter pore filter. The 54, uh, 54 millimeter pore filter, uh, I would say diameter is about 54. Actually, inside is only about 53. Okay, 53.5, so it's not exactly 54. The outside is 54, inside is not, okay? So, it's, so most, let's say 53.5, okay? And then, but uh, looking at the depth, way it's designed, is uh, narrower and deeper, okay? Which means uh, very forgiving. <clears throat> All right, it's very forgiving as well. Uh, uh, it's gonna reduce the channeling by its design, okay? Not like 58 millimeter, Okay, still use 18 gram, but that's obviously 58 and also shallow. Okay, so, uh, there are two different designs. Having said that, uh, way back when, okay, when they came out uh, years ago, 54 millimeter was, it wasn't a thing. Okay, a rubber machine, but it wasn't a thing. There's not a lot of tools at the time. There's no a lot of option for tools. But over the years, Last, especially last three years. Oh gosh, I'm telling you, they makes everything for this. Uh, not only porta filter, bottomless porta filter, and also filter baskets as well. Different types of tools is <clears throat> so many of them. Okay, and you are going to have some great time <clears throat> collecting gadgets if you are into gadgets. All right, okay, and they're they're really nice. I have to say. Uh, 54 millimeter dosing cup. It wasn't a thing back then, okay, but now it is, okay. 54 millimeter dosing cup. So, uh, comes to tools, if you're concerned about not enough tools, no, those there's are gone. Uh, you're gonna have some really fun with making coffee with Bravo Vista Express. Having said that, uh, can you make great coffee with, like specialty coffee? So, Plain, medium to dark, this is a Neapolitan blend from uh, Good Brothers. Uh, he does a really good dark roast coffee. Works wonderful with Bravo Brista Express. But uh, if you are start venture out to different types of coffee, like, so I have some couple of DAC here, okay. And then uh, Brent just came up with a geisha too, okay. Peru geisha, uh, light roast. It's gonna be different. Okay, so I don't know how many of you out there are uh, uh, drinking some really specialty coffee. Okay, yeah, let me know. Okay, we have about 30 people watching right now. Is, you guys are into like medium to dark roast for your express machines or <clears throat> you guys uh, venture out to more specialty coffee. Uh, Willie has the Bambino Plus. Yeah, Bambino Plus is great as well. It's, it's similar to Bravo Brista Pro, okay. Yeah, uh, let me know is how many people actually start making specialty coffee with the Bravo Vista Express. So having said that, uh, let's brew some coffee with it, okay? So this is the DAC, uh, Alchemist. Uh, let's see, tangerine, I'm sorry, tropical fruit, mango, and uh, mango, and what else there? Cocoa nibs, okay? Sounds really good. All right, sounds really, really nice. And hold on a second here. Uh, let's do the 18 gram dose. <clears throat> Comes to, it's all about the grind size at this point. You have to get the right grind size. 
1 through 16. That's it. Very limited. All right. 1 through 16. Uh, we have a <clears throat> uh, we have somebody there, Scott. Scott say I just picked up Bravo Mistakes. Uh, Bravo machines. Okay, amazing. Okay, real amazing special the copy. Yeah, good. Okay. So once you get the if you get a newer Bravo Vista Express, comes with a nine bar pressure. Uh, I have the older one. So this one is about thirteen bar pressure, fourteen bar pressure. So they give you a lot higher pressure there. Yeah, this is a lighter roast. It smells really nice. Yeah. Uh, let's go with 18 gram. Let's do the 18 gram dose. All right, we have uh, friends from all over the world this morning. Uh, we have a uh, John from UK, friends from California. We got Naomi from Maryland as well. Great. Okay, let's measure out 18. Okay. Let's measure out 18 grams. Uh, with a specialty coffee, I like to use paper. Uh, I like to use uh, paper on the bottom. Um, if you haven't used paper on the bottom, uh, try. Okay. I think I have a, I think a Brent from Good Brothers selling it right now on his website too. Uh, so let me show you how I use it. Okay, hold on. Let me grab my paper. Uh, something like this. It's great for like light roast. I really enjoy. I uh, usually put on the bottom here. Just like so. And then uh, you could wet, you can wet the paper on the bottom if you want to, but you know, I mean, I usually not wet the paper. Okay, 18 gram going in. All right, let's see. Uh, grind size, uh, that's important. Okay, my current grind size at number seven. All right, number seven right now. Oh man, I'm just guessing it at the moment. Okay, I'm just guessing it. Uh, B5 star, uh, I'm gonna check my water temperature. Okay, I set a num uh, default temperature, I go I'm gonna go highest plus two. All right, let's go highest water temp. I'm just gonna flush it. So one of, I like the flush right after you change your temperature. And then uh, recalibrate the temperature there. Uh, Naomi asked, is this grinder single dose type? No, this is not a single dose type but I use it as single dose. Okay, I usually measure out, I do not use the hopper. Okay, I do not use the hopper there. Because, you know, I mean, I like to get exact amounts, right? 18 gram going in or 17 gram going in. So instead, using the hopper, hopper is guessing game. I don't want to second guess myself. So with this, uh, here's what I usually do. Let's say I'm gonna, I'm gonna grind my coffee And then after dawn, you just tap it on the top. Okay. Once you tap it, you're gonna have that coffee from the previous session. So, so that's what I usually do. Okay. Just make sure you're gonna clear out the inside grinder. Okay. I'm just gonna try it one more time. Just make sure I got everything out. It. The grinder sounds really harsh right now because, you know, I mean, this thing is about six years old, so it's getting old, okay? But it still works, okay? All right, having said that, let's brew some coffee, guys. Again, uh, 18 gram going in. Grind size number seven. I mean, it is slow, okay? Because seven is pretty, you know, finer side of grinder side, uh, grinder setting. 
little struggling right now. A little struggling. Okay, not quite. I'm gonna go run one more time. Just tap it. Just, just tap, tap. Okay. So now we have. Man, smells really nice, by the way. Smells really good. And I'm just gonna put it in right here. Yeah. Okay. See, whenever you flip it, paper comes out, right? That's the reason why I like to use a little bit of water, okay? Wet the paper inside. So stick together. Okay, stick together there. Just gonna shake it a little bit. Uh, this is a light rose, medium to light, uh, more like lighter side. Zeno is the ask. Yeah. See, you can tell from the lighter side. If this is darker rose, it's going to be overflowing from the top. Okay. The lighter means is uh, uh, they're heavier. The grind uh, beans are a little heavier there. I'm just going to leave it a WDT here. The grind quality on Dilting Grinder is not the best. Not the best, but it does work. I'm just going to. Okay. Okay, we talk about different tools, right? Uh, you don't have to worry about, you know, uh, not lack of selection for 54 millimeter tools. I mean, this is a temper from Bravo. Okay. Fantastic, fantastic tools. All right, so this, I mean, even Bravo makes 54 millimeter temper. So, I mean, you know, don't worry about, you know, you're not getting uh, tools. You don't have enough selection. Uh, plenty, okay, plenty of selection there. Uh, you know, I'd like to use the puck screen for this one. Okay, I'm looking for puck screen. Hold on a second here. Uh, maybe not. I'm just going to go straight. No puck screen this morning. Okay. Again, <clears throat> well, let's find some better glass here. A little shallow. Uh, if you're just joining us, can you make great coffee with the Bravo Barista Express? Let's find out, okay? So this is the first time doing it right now. Uh, grind size number seven. And the water temperature, we went highest. And uh, let's go manual mode, okay? Manual mode means you are going to control the when you copy start and stop time, not like preset. I'm just gonna hold down, double cup button. Hold it down, going into pre-infusion mode. Stop my timer. Maybe about five seconds. Just let go. Okay. I'm going to go about 50 gram. This is more like turbo shots, okay? Turbo shot means uh, you go really fast, okay? You go fast, but you're going to get more as well. So especially with the paper on the bottom, give you that more cleaner taste. About 50 gram out. Okay, here we go. I'm just gonna swerve it. Um, if you are doing the, I mean, coffee like this, coffee like uh, DAG or very specialty coffee, has a lot of free, uh, tasting notes, I intend to go uh, faster shots, okay, uh, like turbo shots. Because whenever you do the traditional like one to two ratio within like 25 to 30 seconds, it's so intense. The flavors are so intense that uh, too much, you know, too much for me. Okay, so I guess I prefer turbo shot on my espresso. Okay, for like lighter coffee. Cheers, everybody. Okay, let's give it a try here. Man, uh, tropical fruit tasting notes. Finish with the cocoa nibs. Very pleasant. Okay, very pleasant coffee with this machine. Okay, it's our stock, stock built-in grinder. 
you know, I mean, 1 through 16, it can be, lim it give you a limitation, but you know what, most people, I mean, you know, I have no problem using it over the years, okay. Yeah, it's quite tasty, okay, it's really nice. Hold on, I look like someone has a, look like someone has a, a question on this, hold on a second, it's a random vocal, oh, here we go. MBG821 said, my express is all of a sudden making sour shot despite being optimal extraction zone. <clears throat> okay. Okay, sour shot. Uh, if you are listening right now, what is your time? Okay. What is your time? Uh, just, just make sure. Is that too fast, too slow? Sour means under extracted. Okay. So let me know what's the time on that. All right, if like less than 20 seconds, 15 seconds, uh, reach what, 40 gram. Uh, and also sour means your water is not hot enough as well. Sometimes your water is not hot. Uh, you're going to get, a, you know, under extracted too. So uh, two things, water temperature, if not most likely the grind size. Okay. Uh, the finest level, which means you need the time to uh, change your inner birds. Okay. Inside. The change the inner birds there. Most likely you set at number six. Okay, six on your inner birds, change to maybe like number four. Okay. And then try that again. And then so number four inside. If you're at one here, change to like four or five. Okay. So so one of you change the inner birds, it, it's gonna give you more. Here we go. Uh, it's about 25 seconds shot, reach you with a 40 gram. I mean that's a good shot. Uh, you're in the right, you know, that's a good starting point. Uh, if a shot is sour, which means looking at your uh, numbers, two, th uh, two things. Could be the coffee, okay? Could be the coffee. If not, it could be the water temperature, okay? Water temp is key, okay? And uh, by the way, what, what kind of coffee are you drinking? Well, let me know that as well. I'm talking to 821 MVG. So, so coffee like this, I like to drink once, you know, a couple of sips, and then follow by make myself Americano. So that's what I like to do. Uh, someone asked me, what's the ratio on Americano? I, said, I just like to put some water in it, that's all. Okay. I don't have an uh, exact formula for that. Okay, good. Uh, yep. Uh, yeah, definitely give it a try with the water temperature there. Okay. Okay. A uh, random say, can you show uh, buttons on some of the buttons on Bravo Vista Express? You mean button combination? I mean, are you talking about the button combination? Okay. Uh, water temp. Uh, let's go with the water temp. I mean, that's, I think mo most people are confused by water temp. This machine is the only machine out there. You have to memorize the button combination. All right. Cleaning mode and descaling mode. I think I, I have video on that as well. That's my number one video, by the way. Okay. I post down on 2019. 2019, I post a, a cleaning video. Still today, okay, still today, that's my number one views. Yeah, because you only clean like every couple of months. By that time, you forgot to, sometimes I have to go back, uh, my older video to refresh my memory uh, uh, about the cleaning cycle, okay? So even my uh, changing temps as well. So yeah. Okay, uh, some of you are watching right now. If you don't know how to change the water temp, if you have a Bravo Booster Pro, that's easy, right? You just click a couple buttons, you're there. Uh, you don't have to worry about anything. But with uh, Bravo Booster Express, different story. Shut the machine off. Okay, first. Uh, hold down the program button. So think about it as a program button is your starting point. So this is your default, default temperature. If this thing lights on, on, which means you are at default. Plus two plus four to the left, uh, this button here is the filter size, 
minus 2 and minus 4. Okay, so let's see. Because uh, earlier I changed to plus 2, the plus 4 there. Ho hold down the program. Is the lights up here? I'm going to go back to uh, default temperature. That's it. That's all you got to do. If you want to change it again, shut it off. Hit down the, press down the program, power button on. So that's how you change your water temp. Okay. And then, uh, having said that, if you are using the lighter roast, like this one here, I like to use like plus four. Uh, if you are using the medium to dark, I usually stay at default temperature. But if you are using the really dark low roast, maybe like minus two. Okay, minus two works fine as well. So, uh, comes to built-in grinder, I mean, what works fine? You know, I have to say. I mean, if you have this coffee machine, thinking about upgrading it, okay, uh, another thing about having a paper on the bottom, fall out pretty easily. Yeah, I mean, that's one thing I like about as well. Uh, if I were you, unless you, if you're going to spend a lot of money, Okay, unless you're going to spend a lot of money, uh, just, just do not upgrade your Express. Okay, do not upgrade it. All right. Or the, uh, we have uh, Stanley say, infusion with the Encore or Brista Express. Oh, Stanley, uh, if I were you, okay. The infusion is good machine. All right. But uh, Encore is about 200 bucks, right? Is that 150? Uh, you, you can get a... Can you get a special? Is that 200 bucks? And the infusion is about 300, uh, $400? Uh, man, I'll go with the Express. Okay, I mean, infusion is, yeah. I'll go with the Express on that. Okay, I think uh, you just missed the boat. You just missed the sale on Express. Uh, last week, in, in, uh, they're selling for like five something. But went back up to six eighty nine right now, so uh, yeah, you could have saved hundred bucks last week. But yeah, but you know, I think I do have a link as well. Six uh, six eighty nine. See, it's about seven hundred bucks for Bravo Vista Express. But yeah, if I were you, wait. Okay, wait. Uh, and they wait for the next sales. They usually give you twenty five, twenty nine percent off. Uh, go on sale a couple of times a year. Okay, it's going a couple of times here, so yeah, just make sure, okay, take advantage of it. You know what? I'm, I'm gonna let you know anyway. You know, I usually go, uh, go live during the. I, I like to call breaking news. Okay, I like to call breaking news there. Uh, the price is really good. Uh, definitely worth buying. Once you have this machine, you're gonna use it for the next five, ten years. Yeah, five, ten. Yeah, no problem. Okay, hold on. Okay, let's see here. Enjoy the streaming. Uh, Harrison say, enjoy the streaming. Good. Okay, and then let's see. What's the idea water temp for, okay, temperature to shot? Uh, depend on the coffee, right? The roasting level. Dark gold or roast level, I like to go uh, cooler temperature, like minus two. If you have the lighter roast, uh, I like to use like plus two or plus four. Okay, lighter roast. Okay, uh, let's see here. Presidio, no, present, president. Well, let's. What happens when you just let go for 250 millimeter? Oh, actually, no. Okay, I mean you can let it go for 250. I don't think you can. I think the maximum water is coming out uh, is about 60. Is that 60? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean. There's maximum. Okay, there's maximum for that. So, yeah. So you cannot get 250. If you are using the Rory pump machine, like Bianca, yes, you can go 250. That's not a problem, but yeah. So I think uh, there's a limit. I have not tried it yet, but yeah, I know there's a limit for that as well. Let's see here. <clears throat> Let's see. Someone asked me about the $2,000. Here we go. $2,000 budget. Should I buy the Flare 58 or Bearman? C oh. 
two grand, go with the machine. Okay. Two grand, you can get a nice machine for $2,000. Uh, get a machine and a good grinder combo. Or Flare 58 with a really nice grinder. Okay, that's really nice. Uh, that's a good combination. That's for sure. Two grand. Here. Okay, so Flare with a nice grinder makes sense. But if you go with a machine plus nice grinder, you need about 3000 Okay, $3,000. But two grand on your coffee setup, I don't know how many years we've been drinking coffee. I mean, how serious about coffee? That's a lot of money, okay? So that's a lot of money. So yeah, just make sure, okay, investing that kind of money, just you're all in on coffee, okay? Uh, Galavanta say uh, 58 all day. That thing can uh, flow, okay, not, here we go, flow, profile. Uh, that's uh, that's true. Okay, Galavante is is he's not wrong about that because uh, flow control and you know about minimum twenty five to three grand. I'm talking about good ones, okay, not the wannabe ones, right? Just I'm talking about good flow control. And the Flare Fifty Eight does the pressure profiling, okay, because you can control the pressure. So, yeah. Yeah, I think yeah, I think a Flare 58. If you are into espresso only, that's a really good option. Go with a really nice grinder with that as well. Uh, it's gonna be under two grand. Yeah. Okay, Dave said, would two grand choose based on the f uh, workflow? Yes. The, again, the two thousand is one. Not only you gotta spend machine, but you have to buy grinder too. Let's not let's not forget the grinder. All right, uh, that rock say dual boiler. Uh, okay, there we go. The Bravo dual boiler. Uh, you can do a lot of modification as well. You can do the Slayer mod if you want to. It's Slayer mod on Bravo uh, dual boiler is not that difficult. So, so you do have some options. Okay, you do have some options. Okay, uh, I'm in, okay. Uh, Amen. Say, hey there. What about pressure pressurized baskets? Uh, if I were you, okay. If you are using Bravo Brista Express, uh, re use the regular baskets. <clears throat> All right, you're gonna get much better shot quality because back of your tray, you're gonna have a couple of different baskets. The pressurized basket has one tiny hole. So everything is pressurized. I mean, look like you're gonna get a great shot of coffee. Okay, a great shot of espresso. Uh, look like crema, but that's not a real crema. That's like a pressurized coffee there, so. So, again, if you're drinking milk-based drink, pressurized baskets is fine. Yeah, hold on a second. You got, uh, let's see here. MSA, again, you only focus on the bottomless. I can tell you. Okay, I can tell you. Okay, I can tell you that pressurized can give you same result as bottomless. Try make a different. Try some of them, make a difference. Okay. Uh, it's not the same. It's not the same because give it the same results, but it's not the same taste. Uh, let's put it that way. Because the pressurized coffee, they look like give you the. Uh, you know what? Having said that, okay, let's give you a. Okay, you know what? Let's give you a live demo. Okay, how about that? All right. Let me talk about espresso, uh, espresso taste. So, yeah, let's give it a try with the pressurized baskets. I happen to have the pressurized baskets right here. So this is a <clears throat> non-pressurized basket, right? Has lots and lots of holes in it. Okay. I mean, bottomless versus uh, uh, a spouted, there's no difference. Bottomless just happen to have no bottom, that's all. Okay, that's it. So, so here's the pressurized baskets here. They look like it has holes in it. No, it, you see that tiny hole? Coffee is coming from all that. Okay, all that there. So, which means it's a lot more forgiving. All right, 
which means a lot forgiving with uh, dialing in copy. Instead of using, let's say, I use grind size number seven. I'm going to say the same grind size for you guys, okay? I'm not going to change anything except the baskets. You guys uh, recall uh, about 50 gram <clears throat> and like what? Tw uh, le less than 20 seconds, around 15 seconds there, okay? And then watch this. Okay, I'm gonna go. St I'm gonna go stick with 50 gram. How long is it gonna take? And uh, let's see. What I'm gonna do is for the fun factor. I'm gonna use a bottomless pore filter, a pressurized basket. So you guys are going to see what is happening with that coffee. All right. So you get to see it. Uh, it's pretty cool to watch. Pretty cool to watch there. Uh, water temp. I'm gonna set at. Plus two, uh, I'm sorry, same temperature, <clears throat> uh, plus four. I'm going to use the same grind size, same, every, everything's the same except the uh, baskets. So now I'm going to be using the pressurized baskets. Uh, I think, I think you guys are going to See that you know it's gonna be an interesting video, okay. Actually, it's gonna be fun, uh, fun for you guys. All right. I'm gonna use the paper as well. Uh, everything is the same thing. I'm gonna use the paper too. Actually, I have not done that yet. I haven't. I haven't used uh, paper with. Yeah, it's going to be interesting, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. I, this time, I'm just going to use my 3D, do, uh, 3D dosing funnel. 18 gram going in. I'm going to do the same thing, same workflow as before. I'm just going to tamp it. Okay. All right. Should be interesting here. I'm just going to lock it in. So before we are using the non-pressurized baskets and this time we are using the pressurized baskets and you are going to see what is going on with this coffee here. Okay, so before we did a 50 gram output and around like 15 seconds, right? Uh, yours pretty fast, 50 gram. I'm going to go still 50 gram and let's find out how long it's going to take. I guarantee you it's going to be a little longer. Okay. It's going to be a little longer. Hold on, let's uh, flip the camera. I'm going to my start my timer. You see that right there? Oh, hold on. 40 gram at 26 seconds. Ah, I see what happens. Wow, okay, 40 gram in 28 seconds, guys. I couldn't go 50. The reason why I couldn't go 50, scare was, uh, I don't know, you guys remember, but the uh, press down the scale, so his numbers are everywhere. So. Again, uh, 40 gram at about 28 seconds, all right? So I did the pre-infusion as well, about five second pre-infusion too. Yeah, same as the last one. Right, I'm just gonna spin around. 
So this is a lot more stronger, okay? <clears throat> but the look like crema, it wasn't, it's just all the pressure that look like crema, but it's not. Uh, let's give it a try. Cheers. It's not the, it tastes good, but it's not as more defined, more complex as a non-pressurized basket. The non-pressurized basket give you more uh, tasting notes, okay? The more, more complexity than pressurized. So if you haven't tried, uh, uh, if, you're using, <clears throat> if you're drinking a darker roast, it's gonna be hard to tell. But especially like lighter roast, yeah, you're going to tell the difference between pressurized versus non-pressurized. I'm talking about you know, lighter roast with uh, you know, interesting tasting note, right? Like peach, I love peach. Uh, like tropical fruits, like lemons, guava, you know, whatever, you know, very interesting tasting notes rather than chocolate notes. And you are going to definitely tell the difference between uh, pressurized versus non-pressurized. So the one downside of pressurized baskets, uh, you get really stuck on the wall, okay? So you gotta tap it. You see that? Yeah. So I mean, that's because everything is all pressurized and squeeze it in. Uh, coming out of puck is not that pretty. But that's another reason I like the non-pressurized baskets as well. Anyway, I hope this video helps, okay? About the pressurized basket versus non-pressurized baskets. Let's see. Nick say, I love my Sage Oracle. But trading, oh goodness, look at you. The Nick is uh, spending big money. Okay, La Marzacro Mini is great, great coffee machine. Well, especially espresso machines. Yeah, that's, uh, that's good. That's a nice setup. I mean, or Oracles are really nice too, but I mean, Mini is, uh, I mean, that's good as get. comes to home, okay. Okay, hold on. Random vocal say, would you rather have uh, your Lille Bianca and Salt Park Grinder or EK42 with Bravo Express? You know what, it's all about the grinder. It's all about the grinder. Because grinder makes a uh, coffee, make or break. Uh, I don't care if you have, you know, a $10,000 coffee machine with a mediocre uh, grinder and the, the Bravo Vista Express, you know, they're, you know, they're capable, okay? But if you have a great grinder, big difference. Big difference there, so yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I, mean I, I go with the grinder first. Okay, I go with the grinder, so. Let's see, Stanley said, that's my dream machine. The Lille, uh, uh, yeah, La Marzocco Mini, it's been around for a long time. They're built like tank. They're stable. Yeah, that's good machine. But the limitation of Mini is, uh, if you are into like pressure profiling, flood control, is a lack of that. That's why a lot of people if you own a Mini, uh, usually go to like GS3. Even like, I think the little, uh, if you have a La Marzac uh, Lydia Mini, I think you can do the mod as well. I think you can do the mod that uh, act like Slayer, right? Coffee machine too. So I think you have a, a lot of options with the Mini too. Yeah, you, I think you have a lot of options. Okay. <clears throat> Shibin say, okay, any upgrade recommendation for Toran Legato? No, you know, if I will, stay. Okay, stay what it is. Do not upgrade anything. Just just use it. I know some people uh, install overpressure valve so you can cha uh, control the pressure, but I mean, I think their 15 bar coffee machine it is fine. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, if I will, just, just use it, enjoy as what it is. Okay. You know, don't put additional money into it. All right. Okay. Bill, Billy said, I got the recipe direct from the coffee bean grower. Okay, today, first brew. Okay, grind size number six was too fine, seven was good. Came out very good. Excellent. I mean, that's the, that's the only way to do it. Just play with your grind size. Okay, let's see. Stanley said, We have La Mazaka Lidia, Lidia 3. Three at work, okay, love it, good. All right, I think we are good for now, folks. About 60 people watching. 
thank you thank you so much for watching uh, this morning and i'll be back later today okay uh, let's do another session as well let's do another brew session uh, should be fun uh, let's do some uh, I, I try to focus on uh, espresso in the morning and the afternoon we go filter someone asked me how many cups i drink every single day i drink about maybe one cup at the most one or one and a half at the most because i don't finish this cup okay i don't finish this because imagine if i drink every single cup i i make now too much so yeah I just usually have a one or two sips at the most. I mean, most of the day. I mean, it's not, yeah, it's not sustainable. I know some of you out there drink a lot of coffee, but yeah, can do it. Okay, all right, folks. I'm going to see you guys later.